We hello and welcome to get German as gaming and outlast whistleblower. We're gonna start a new game right away. And let's see. Yeah, we're playing on normal as always. And let's see what this game holds for us, what what we will explore. I hope we will explore us being the host of the Wall Rider, but I don't really know, so let's do this. <clears throat> Yep, looks like it. Maybe. We don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. <laughs> okay. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help you. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Why would you do that? Uh, Andrew, you getting these alerts? Kind of busy here. Ew. It sounds like real trouble. Uh, at the engine, they said Hope made a lateral ascension. What do you hope? They're not happy about it? No. Shit. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Come on. Okay. You don't know me, you have to make this quick, they might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Merkov's Aquatic System Facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs and much breaking, blah blah blah, but seriously, fuck those guys. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> Damn it, I didn't see who was writing, like, who we are. <laughs> A great start into the game. So, oh, we're playing a scientist, eh? Nice. Um, terrible things happened from Anonymous, okay? Terrible things happened here, uh, there. Don't understand it, don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Ah, I remember reading that email in the main game. <laughs> Park? They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. Okay. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software guy. Report to Porphogenic Engine Monitoring. Ah, nice. We're gonna see how it all goes to shit. I love that. That's a cool idea. Why weren't you answering the page? I'll tell them you're coming. Okay. That sounds all right. I didn't mm. think I'd miss her this much. It's the patients start to realize they haven't seen a woman or a child in shit years now, right? How long's it been since you've seen Jane? Three weeks now. That's nothing. Hmm. Serious. Sure. You got a girlfriend or somebody? I'm married. How long since you've seen her? Honestly, I'm not even sure. Mm hmm. Great. Being kept in here for quite a while, nice eh? Nice, and Hurry up. They're waiting on you. Okay. Ah, they're cutting it close. Next patient's incoming in arterial spin. Still dark. We need you at the front terminal. Well, what's the sign? Yeah. Ah, fuck's sake. They've got Galuskin out of his cell. Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. Tell him he's got 15 seconds to keep his job. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. They're gonna have to write the ADC hormone feed a little closer this time. We've never had a patient get below 25 million cell deaths per minute. We need to be at 15. Tilson could have reached it. In therapy sessions without chemical assistance, he got down to 30. He had five minutes of cancer. Or <laughs> if he wants us at 15, maybe. None of this matters if we can't get our apoptosis down to a manageable level. But what's the time We're gonna have to write these people's fine hormones. Okay, anyway. Scientists talk. Finally. Where have you been? Functional imaging interfaces and talking to the ASL. 
We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I can call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No, I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is gonna have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Yep. All right. So, Billy. Have you, Mr. Park? <laughs> uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. No! No, not again! No, no! <laughs> rape! Oh shit! <laughs> rape! Help me! Don't let them do this! Don't let them! You! I know you can stop this! You have to help me! You have hey, to! Hey! Calm yourself! This is a high security... It's alright, Agent. Huh? Mr. Hart was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Yep, all good. Mr. Park? Need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Oh Serial shit. Spin labeling is back online. Good. Positioning imaging place. Uh oh, what is going on with him? You're finished, Mr. Whalen Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. <laughs> You're done here, Mr. Park. Thank you, and goodbye. Yeah, yeah, okay. You need to exit the room, sir. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hmm. <coughs> so I'm just a geek. The whistleblower. Ah, okay. Stories outside of class. Mm -hmm. On the floor. Shit. Down. Hands where I can see him. Uh oh. Now that's not Mr. good. Wayland Park, consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level three security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Mm -hmm. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Mm -hmm. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact. That was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Oh, and... Uh, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine program? Well, that's what I heard, Mr. Blair. Mm -hmm. He's brave indeed, Wayland. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> Whistleblower. <laughs> Fuck. Damn! Yeah, that, it's, it's dangerous to, to blow the whistle on people like that. For show. Get up! Get up! And there's a camera.
Oh fuck. <laughs> it starts off great again. <laughs> this is how we know if I die. I fucked up, oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed, or weeks. Brain filled with static, they made me watch the the engine. Have to get help, have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't do. It exposes the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> Chin. Oh, flower. Pretty flower. Hmm? Fucking. I'll open you up. Open you up and show you. Thank you for her. You ain't right there. Okay. Yeah. How are you gonna make me purr again? I forgot. <laughs> hmm. All right. <laughs> well, I'm one of you, aren't I? So I should be fine with that. You, no observers, come in. Um, later maybe. For some reason, I'm not that scared yet because I'm pretty much one of the patients, so they should see that, right? Oh my god. Oh, peeping Tom. Come to join our therapy session. <laughs> here, take the blade. Keep around in our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. Mm -hmm. You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. Okay. <laughs> no. You're one of those. Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? Something special? No. There are no observers here. No, sir. Now, get the fuck out of here before I change my mind. Okay. See you guys. Have fun in there. Uh. Ah, the fucker tried to go. Whoa. Okay. Come back here. <laughs> Oh man, I fucked up. That was quite scary. I admit that. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. We get out of here through reception. Or tactical clean it up. If they get here in time, we need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here within. We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal, and the lights are on. Murkoff has none in control. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside help doesn't come from outside attention. You want responsibility for every legally shaky thing you did on the Murkoff Company payroll? <laughs> I know I don't. It's too late to worry about that. This just has to stop. 
You're scared. You're not thinking straight. Let me make something clear. You try to radio outside for help. I'm gonna give you a whole new subgroup to be scared of. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a radio in the prison. Shortwave. If it's electronical, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My uh, mistake was subtly... What? Was subtly... Letty... Subtlety... Subtlety, sorry, <laughs> subtlety, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkov is dangerous, I know that. I thought it had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys, but I should have exposed what Murkov is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone, I can't die, not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now, it's too broken, too dangerous. Yep. Agree. I would have thought he kills that um, guard, you know, for trying to, uh, or the other dude kills the other dude for trying to blow the whistle as well, for calling out for help. Mm, hello. He gets up, of course, now. He gets up. Okay, see ya. Uh. <laughs> what? What was that? Uh-huh. I always think I see stuff in this game, which I hate. I don't want to see stuff. Oh. And this weird um, Rorschach thing that's going on here. Help me, please. I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my... You're not security. I was... I'm a patient like you. Yeah, right. Stole these clothes from <laughs> a dead body I found. Mm -hmm. You gotta get me out of here, please. Just yeah. push the button, open the door. We can get out of here together. I doubt it, but oh well. Oh well. So don't steal a doctor's uniform. That's my <laughs> lesson from this. The doctors are sick. I'd seen I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags. They dressed they've dressed me in and changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick, no real difference between them now. Is uh, The therapy is spreading, and what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday, I don't want it, I don't want to be murdered. Yeah, who, who wants to be murdered, seriously? I don't think many people do. Make that their, like, uh, job description. I want to be murdered, thanks. Uh-oh. The wall right is coming. Ah. Another one's coming! Who's coming? You busted. Oh, of course. Another one's coming! Busted. I just wanna get out. I wanna get help. Ah. Hmm. Ah, okay. And now? What now? 
There we go. Mm. <laughs> if there's no battery in here, I'll run a mock. A mock? How do you say that? No real hiding yet, which I don't mind, to be quite honest. <laughs> because uh, that is scary. Oh, there we go, battery. You picked up a battery. Hmm. I sure did, my friend. Yo. Oh, hello. Is he eating someone? Yeah, he is eating someone. Shit. Okay. I don't think it's necessarily safe to come closer to him. Ew. Why would I even go in here? Oh, okay, it's a different room, but still. Whoa. Don't you look at us. I love him. <laughs> okay, no worries. In the cannibal's kitchen, don't ask... Ask to see my body, Lisa, when I die, when you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen. Don't make them show you my body, just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger, little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make me sh show... <laughs> Please don't make them show you my body. Mmm. Ew. Okay. He's just gulping that down, isn't he? Oh my god. That is disgusting. I mean really disgusting. <laughs> not just a little bit. Can you go through there? Probably not. Or maybe, I, I want to check, just to be safe. Because I didn't check before. Nope. Okay, always on the search for batteries, guys, as you know by now. <laughs> oh god. Let's get away from him. For sure. So, he's pretty much just a witness. Um, I'd say no one really tries to harm him throughout the game, maybe? Oh, I was probably wrong. I made it! I think it's safe. Can you climb up? I'm coming, Cooper! I just had to lock the... There! I'm coming! Hold on! Okay. Unlock the handcuffs. Um, yeah, um, I'd like to do that. But how? Where is the key? the key there. No, it's a battery that I missed, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, what now? <laughs> hmm. I'm kinda lost at the moment. Oh, of course. <laughs> Should have thought about that. 
Oh well. Okay. Eight. No, 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 no. Yeah, he has to feed, but not on me, I don't know. Fucking cannibal man. <laughs> Hello, meat. And there goes my theory that no one wants to harm us in this game. I can smell you. Okay. Ouch. Okay, okay, okay. Woo. Yes, I'm your friend. Shut up. Shut up, weirdo. He's so fucking creepy. Yeah, you want to help me, I bet. That's exactly what you want to do. Wow, that like it's giving me goosebumps that he's following me around like that. Is that happening to you right now too? It's just weird. Ooh. Okay, what's this? Uh, all material herein to be transcribed. Blah blah blah. Author Ethan Riskandaraja. Roger, uh, this is a request for specific legal consultation in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Cho against Murkoff Charitable Psychiatry, Inc. Uh, at the time of Ms. Cho's termination, the psychosomatic effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients had been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying the non-existent children, five of them fatally, <coughs> oh my god, female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually entirely off the Mount Massive facility. Okay. The critical secrecy of Project War Rider necessitated secrecy in the motive motivating factors for the reassignments and terminations resulting in perceived injustice from several terminated parties. Ms. Cho has succeeded in acquiring a court-ordered FOIA release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated, providing amelioriating information while skirting the relevant secrecy of the project. Please advise. Okay. So a chick was um, fired because of the events they described. Well, how, that they, the, those events don't sound pleasant. I think it was quite all right that they fired them. Hmm. Oh shit. Isn't this where where the dude is? Hey, 
It is, isn't it? It seems to be gone. Ah, uh, did I just walk in a circle? Like... Feels like it. Hmm. I'm not sure, damn it. Yeah. I did, sorry guys. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Great. There he is again. <laughs> Behind me. Motherfucker. So that is my arch enemy in this game. <laughs> I needed one, didn't I? Hmm. Oh, battery. Can't just be happy and fine. No. I need enemies. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Okay. Where do we go from here again? Uh, forgot. <laughs> ah, sorry. Of course, man. I I'm not in my my, my top game right now. Am I? Am I now? Okay, he didn't make it. I hope I have better chances than him to survive this mess. This gigantic mess. The scares in this game have um, so far not been as bad as in the main game. Which I appreciate to be honest because I just finished the main game and I pretty much just play the, the add-on right away. Yeah, and I hate that effect too with the, when they do that. Okay. What does that do? Interact. Hmm. Does that burn stuff or what? Oh, okay. That's what happens. Ah! Sucker! No, it's him! No! No! You stay there! No! And cook! What? Ah. Oh shit. Well, that was lucky. No. No. You were mine. Yeah, I was. Not anymore, though. Haha. <laughs> 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 Hmm. Is there anything for me here? No batteries? No whatsoever? It's just to hide from the bad man? Must be. Oh well. Exit, yeah. They always taunt you with that in this game, don't they? <laughs> of course it's closed. Why wouldn't it be, right? Why, why would it ever be open? Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. So can we push this or something like that? Ah, oh, there's a document. Father Clark, far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients. And if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calming procedures. <laughs> Don't underestimate the contribution your sermon offers our patients, especially considering the depth and necessarily chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon, and, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. Dr. Newhouse, MD. <clears throat> Alright. Well, guys... I think that's it for today's episode. This is the first part of the whistleblower. How did you like it so far? Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments as well. And um, yeah, apart from that, don't forget to get a Germanized goodbye. And here comes the explosive. Pow!